Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel SL Stats. This video demonstrates you how to run complete randomized design in Minitab. Research problem An experiment was conducted to study the performance of five tomato varieties in a greenhouse using complete randomized design. Tomato varieties were assigned to experimental units randomly. The experiment contained 25 plots and the yield values recorded from each plots are given in table 1. This table shows you the tomato yield obtained for 5 tomato varieties under each replicate. Varieties are Tilina, Ravi, Rashmi, Mahesha and Bhatia. Each variety consists with 5 replicates. I am going to demonstrate the analysis using three steps. First step. How do we enter the data into Minitab? There are two ways of entering data into Minitab. First one, response data are in one column for all factor levels. Let's see how do we enter the data in that way. Open Minitab. In your Minitab worksheet, create two variables for your treatment and response. The treatment is variety, your response is the yield. Here I have used 1 to 5 numbers to denote 5 treatments. Since each treatment consists with 5 replicates, each treatment should be repeated for 5 times. And enter the yield values relevant to each treatment, its replicate. Second method, response data in separate column for each factor level. Let's go to Minitab. It's very easy. Take five columns to enter the five treatment. Then type yield values under each variety. You can use either two methods to enter the data. Step two, how do we do the analysis? First, you should obtain an OVA table and second, if there is a significant difference among treatments exist, go for comparisons to identify which treatment is significantly different. Let's go to Minitab. Okay, I will use this data entering method to do the analysis. Go to STAT, then ANOVA, then click on one way. Then, one way analysis of variance box will open. Now, my yield data are in separate columns. Therefore, here I want to select response data are in a separate column for each factor level. Now, click on responses. Now, you want to select these five treatments into responses box. To do that, just click on each variable. OK. Now click OK. Your output will appear in the session window. This is the output. Here. Your factors are Tilina, Ravi, Rashmi, Mahesha and Bhatia. When you look at ANOVA table, the p-value of factor, factor means your treatment, is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05. Then you can say that there is a significant difference among the treatment. ANOVA itself gives only whether there is a significant difference among treatments or not. To identify which treatment is significantly different, we want to do a follow-up analysis, which is called comparisons in Minitab. For that, again go to Minitab. To do the mean comparison, again go to STAT, click on ANOVA, then select one way, go to comparisons, Click on 2 key, then 
click OK. Again OK. This is your final output. Third step. How to be interpret the output? Okay, this is the null hypothesis. All means are equal, which means there is no significant difference among tested five varieties in terms of yield. And the alternative is not all means are equal. And the significance level considered is 0 0.05. The five factors are Dilinna, Ravi, Rashmi, Mahesha and Bhatia. This is the end of a table. When you look at factor, the p-value obtained is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05. Then you can say that there is a significant difference among five tested tomato varieties in terms of yield. This is the model summary. When you look at R square adjusted, it's explained that 92.79% of your dependent variable is explained by the treatment. This is the table for means. This is the mean value column for five treatments. Now let's go to two key pairwise comparison. When you look at pairwise comparisons, this is the factor table. This is number of replicates for each, each treatment. This is the mean yield values for each treatment. And this is the grouping. Varieties are placed in descending order according to their mean yield values. Grouping column shows us which treatment is significantly different and which is not. Here, means that do not share a letter are significantly different. Let's try to explain it further. When you compare Bhatia with Rashmi, both are given same letter, letter A, which means there is no any significant difference between Bhatia and Rashmi. When you compare Bhatia with Ravi, different letters, capital A for Bhatia, capital B for Ravi. So, you can say that there is a significant difference between Bhatia and Ravi. When you compare Bhatia with Tilina, again different letters, capital A for Bhatia, capital C for Tilina, which means there is a significant difference between Bhatia and Tilina. When you compare Rashmi with Ravi, for Ravi, the letter is capital B, and Rashmi also include capital B which means there is no significant difference between Rashmi and Ravi. Likewise, you can identify which treatment is significantly different and which is not. And when you look at mean yield values, the highest yield is given by the variety Bhatia. This graph also illustrates the Toki mean comparison. It says that if an interval does not contain zero, the corresponding means are significantly different. Which means when you compare Ravi with Tilina, this interval does not contain zero, then you can say that there is a significant difference between Ravi and Tilina. When you look at Rashmi and Ravi, this interval contains zero, then you can say that there is no any significant difference between Rashmi and Ravi. Likewise, you can interpret this chart. This is the graphical illustration of mean yield of each treatment. Okay, it is all about the interpretation part. Now I think you will be able to analyze complete randomized design using Minita. Thank you.